talking about Simple Quiz Engine today and how to use it for your marketing. And that's why we built this software, so that you can use it for all your marketing, for digging in and getting um, much better conversations started with your clients, prospects, customers, um, everybody. Uh, you can send it to people as a disqualifier or as a qualifier. It's totally up to you. You can build these quizzes any way you want to. And we're going to go over some of the um, concepts, basically, too, about why it's so powerful from a marketing perspective. So I think, um, I think we want to start by just taking a look at a quiz. Jen, do you think that's a good idea? I think that'd be great if we can just walk through exactly what a fully developed quiz looks like and what the user is going to see. I think okay. that shows people the power of it. You see, we've got an enticement here and it's a landing page and you scroll down and here's the quiz. This is the quiz piece right here. Everything else is the HTML that you build around the quiz. Now, the reason this quiz software is so powerful is all of the quiz functionality lives in the short code that all, all you put on the page is the short code, the quiz question shortcut. So what we've done here is created a six bucket grouping quiz. We have 31 different questions or basically selections behind these six and we want to narrow those down. So we group them so that people could come to them and choose what they wanted. So our groupings are infrastructure and technology, product creation, sales and marketing strategies, traffic generation, no business yet. So remember the question was, what do you need help with in your business today? So when anyone clicks on any of these groups of questions, you're only going to see a limited set of the 31 that are related to this topic. So that's a way for you to get a complex quiz out to people in a very simple way. What they see is a one question quiz, which area do you need to start in? So if I choose product creation, then it loads below with the selections that we have. And then you click, select one of these answers below. And you click the answer, and let's click having enough time to get your membership going. So now what we're doing is asking you for your name and your email address. We're tagging you with your selection in the background. Not everyone needs tagging. And that's, we have basically three kinds of quizzes. There is the straight opt-in, using an opt-in form. There's an integration with platforms that we integrate with, like Confusionsoft, ActiveCampaign, uh, MailChimp, AWeber, those folks. Um, and you can integrate and tag people, or you can just have a straight referral quiz where there's no opt-in or anything like that. That's great for affiliate marketers. Um, I'll put in my information here. And choose got to put in a full email address and I choose submit your choice to get the free training and then a new page it goes to the results page and the results page everything else like on our quiz page everything on this page is HTML it just fits in and this is from this is a short code from the quiz itself that is relevant to the selection that you made so in that quid quiz we had 31 selections and we had 31 different responses based on your selection. So uh, if you, we chose in this one uh, membership sites. So here's something talking about membership sites. And here's a little two minute, minute 30 video for me talking about membership sites. And, um, and then basically it's telling you to go get in your email. We've sent you those training sessions in your email. So we're addressing your concerns specifically and dynamically. And also at that time, we're giving you an opportunity to get into the Insiders Club. Okay, so does that make sense, Jen? It does. And before you move on, though, I really want to make sure that everybody understands this is incredibly powerful because mm -hmm. most of the other quiz options that you have out there right now require a different URL for a different response. Mm -hmm. So if we were going to create the same exact quiz on another platform to deliver this content, I would have had to create 31 different results pages. And when we were starting, you were thinking that that's what we had to do and we were not that's happy about it. <laughs> well, and let me tell you that this is why the, the software and the plugins that we build end up being so well liked. I kind of start with what I want our end result to be and yep. I start backing into it. 
And when I went back and said, well, wait a minute, to do what you wanna do, I have to have 30 landing pages, I have to have 30 opt-in forms, this does not work for me. And so this is what is so, I think, important, and it, it doesn't seem sexy in terms of what a software plugin does, but if you are a business owner and you are trying to maintain your WordPress site, who wants 30 landing pages that are exactly for one the same? quiz? Yeah. And so it let me build a shell of a results page that I could quickly just drop that, that short code into. Yeah. So uh, I will say that I've been out snooping around looking at other quiz software out there. And I saw one that's very popular advertising on Facebook, right? But to, but to segment your list, um, you have to put in a different opt in for every one of them on that uh, quiz. So it's exactly what Jennifer's talking about. Every result has to have a, have a different opt-in form. Now, we don't do that. We, we build a tagging system. Um, now, you may not have the kind of, of uh, autoresponder that allows you to do tagging, but we've even tackled that so that you can actually go in there and choose different lists. So you can have one opt-in, but you can send them to different lists. Okay, so um, we should look at the back end, right? Yep, let's do this. What I really want you to focus on is the simplicity of being able to use the native WordPress editor inside of the quiz. Yep. Here's the quiz that we were just looking at. If I click this over here, I'm going to open it up again. I want to show you the groups. So here's the groups button. I'm going to go to the groups. I set up my groups. Remember I had infrastructure, technology, product creation, sales and marketing strategies and all of that. So here's my group, or here's my question. And I click the question. The question is about infrastructure and technology as well. And I click on the question and it's got four answers. Here is the question itself. I can add any content I want in here, pictures, whatever. The question here was blog setup was the title of it. Notice, I'm tagging it now in Infusionsoft that you chose blog setup. So that's the tag in Infusionsoft. I just click on that and I choose whatever tag that I want directly from my Infusionsoft setup. So if you have active campaign, it shows up that way. If you have Aweber, what shows up here is select your Aweber list. So if you have multiple lists in Aweber, you can put them on a special list. Um, so they all have the same number, though they have the same score and the score is two. See, we just have different questions, different responses. Save that, go over to the buttons. And I wanna show you now why the buttons are so cool and so important. Okay, for this question, we have a score of one to two. We're not sending them to a redirect link. It's going straight to the, um, straight to the results page because that's where we have. And the submit choice, submit your choice is here. Submit choice to get your free training. This was an execute button, so we were tagging everybody. And because we're tagging everybody, we didn't have a different score in there for everybody um, on the questions we, because we only really cared about the tags, right? So we only use one button. You put your call to action in here on your button like that. 